Really something, and they've just not been able to slow anyone down. They go back to it, and Kenny Clark says, oh, yeah? Oh, we can't stop the run, huh, Buck? Huh, Aikman? <laughs> a loss of two on that carry by Akers. Well, we all know about the Rams' offensive line and a lot of the changes and different lineups that they've had throughout the year. Good job there by Kenny Clark beating the center, Brian Allen. Well, and that center, Brian Allen, second and 17. And he gets it over the right side, and he's brought down immediately by Kenny Clark, who's made a couple of stops. Third down and long coming up. Yeah. So a first down up at the 47, handoff to Akers, trying to find somewhere to go. Not much, got one. Play made by Rasul Douglas. And how loud this stadium can get. Mayfield is not set yet, and now he is. Down he goes. Play made by Preston Smith. And a loss of eight on Smith's sixth sack of the year. Well, you got Preston Smith coming around Havenstein. They have Malcolm Brown, number 41, the tailback. He's over to that side to try to give a little bit of help, but he just... He's watching to make sure the snap occurs, whether he needs to get back to the other side, just as we talked about things on the sidelines, worked it out. And, of course, we all know how that game ended. That's Atwell in motion. Mayfield is sacked, brought down. He can't use hard count. They're down in 11. Mayfield trying to set up a screen, and it's broken up. Higby was the target. And Enoch Bari was there for Green Bay to knock it away. What a nice series for the rookie. Boy, you're not kidding. I mean, he reads it. He reads it the entire way. He, he sees what Higby there is trying to do, and he doesn't even rush. He just stays right there with him. That's really well played. Adwell, they finally get him involved, and he's brought down by Amos. A loss of four on the handoff to 2-2 Atwell. Well, really good job. Amos going to come here. They're trying to get Van Jefferson down to block him, but he times this so well that Jefferson cannot get down there to make the block. What a great job by Adrian Amos. Saw it the entire way. Area. They're down in seven now. Pass is nearly picked by Quay Walker. Stepped up in front of Malcolm Brown, who was the target. Mayfield had nowhere to go with the ball, and that brings up fourth down. He's trying to get the ball to 2-2 Atwell to his left, and a lot like we saw earlier with the soft coverage, and yet the time with their 13th win of the year. Play action under pressure. Mayfield balls out. Knocked out and recovered by the Rams. It was Quay Walker. Walker. He's lined up here. He's going to come around. He's the guy who gets to Baker, but he's also the one then that knocks it out. They're trying to run the play action and kick him out, but Quay Walker, he, he's pretty quick. He's a real athletic linebacker. He's able to beat the protection. You see the knockout there. And fortunate to get back on that ball. Hey. Mayfield has to take off to his right, and it's thrown out of bounds. Brown, the closest target. First possession, second half, and they run it with Akers, and Quay Walker brings him down. The rookie, a loss of two. Now this is exactly what Matt LaFleur has been wanting to see from this defense, and it's not something we've seen much of. And Quay Walker, he recognizes it and hits it immediately. They've been kind of waiting, and then guys have gotten up on him. They've had a hard time getting off blocks, especially Quay Walker, the rookie. You know, he's been a lot more physical. They've done a good job against the run tonight. Second and 22, and Akers is wrapped up by Reed, who was held on that previous play, a gain of five, and it's third down and long. That's really good up front by Jaron Reed because he's able to work through two blockers. They're trying to double team on him. You see the center and guard. They work to him. 
As then Allen moves up to the, or excuse, second down and goal. 2-2 Atwell in the backfield. Mayfield. Atwell, incomplete. Yeah, he's going to come around, but if he waits till he passes Quay Walker, you'll see that if Baker had held the ball and waited till he got to here, maybe he's able to fit it in there with, a, with Atwell being able to go at a nice angle, but he just didn't hold it enough. Of course, throws behind him as well. To bring condolences to the family and all the friends, and there were many. First down and 10, and... Akers back to the line of scrimmage as the rookie Devontae Wyatt makes that tackle no gain. Down by 12. From the 13, Mayfield keeps. And down he goes. Justin Hollins, a former Ram, and a loss of three. Wouldn't advise this. See Baker Mayfield come out on the bootleg and, and doesn't see anything down the field. And it takes a, a big hit rather than just throwing it away. Fourth sack of the night for Green Bay. Mayfield got hit, picked off by Douglas. Rasul Douglas now throws it backward for Amos. And Adrian Amos is going to be tackled just inside the 35. Kenny Clark bothered the throw by Baker Mayfield and Rasul Douglas ends up with the interception his third of the year ball. first down really great job by Kenny Clark he fights through the double team that allows him then to get to Baker Mayfield he sees him step up and here he comes he's the one who gets a hand on him and the ball then underthrown. he's trying to get the ball up the sideline to Skoranek Rasul Douglas the underneath cover man have we seen enough of yeah. laterals for one week? <laughs> Amos yeah, was there. And that's a 40-yard penalty against the Packers defense and Adrian Amos. Pressure and Preston Smith gets to Baker Mayfield. Another sack. Keeping him in here, Higby, and he gets beat inside. They've, they've got Skoranek out there to kind of help, so just don't get beat inside, but yet Preston Smith is able to do that. It's a direct shot. Then on Baker Mayfield. Five-sack night for the Green Bay Packers defense. They came in.